you are welcome back to my channel today we are asked to find the area of this smaller circle um please this is not drawn to scale so the question says that a b that is from here to here is 9 from b to c is 15 and this is the center of the bigger circle okay all right this is the center of the smaller circle and that is the only information we are given. We are asked to find the area of the smaller circle. Now, first, area of a circle is pi r squared, okay? Now, notice that pi is constant, right? Therefore, if we are able to find the radius of this smaller circle, then we'll be able to find the area. <laughs> so everything we are doing now is we are trying to find the radius of the smaller circle all right now let us read the mind of the examiner first we are given the length from a to c which happens to be the diameter of this bigger circle okay ac is equal to ab plus bc right which is equal to 9 plus 15 which is equal to 24 so it simply means that the diameter of the bigger circle and it is 24 right therefore the radius of the smaller the bigger circle the radius of the bigger circle is 24 divided by 2, which is 12. So if we call this point T, this center T, okay? So it means that TC is 12, all right? And it means that AT is 12 as well. Now, if AT is 12, and from here to here is 9, so it means that BT is 12 minus 9, which is 3. Okay? So BT is equal to 3. Now, first, remember that point B is the point of intersection between this circle and this tangent AC because line AC, which happens to be the diameter of the bigger circle, is the tangent, is tangent to this circle at this point. Now, let us remember this circle theorem that states that in a circle of center O, okay, and a tangent AB, if you drop a line, straight line, from the center to the point of contact between this circle and the tangent, 90 degrees is formed. So it means that if I drop a straight line from the center of this circle to B that formed 90 degrees, okay? All right. And notice that if we call this place O, OB is also the radius of this smaller circle. So let's call it R, small r. If we join O to T, okay, let's join O to T. Now, we have formed 90 degrees here. Why? Let me explain again. Remember that in a circle, if you have a chord, AB, if you drop a straight line from the center to the chord, it bisects the chord and 90 degrees is formed. And this place will be equal to this part. Now, this DE is the code, is a code to this particular bigger circle, right? So it means that this point will become what? 90 degrees. If I drop a straight line from each center to the code, so 90 degrees is formed. Now let us join this to this part. Okay, where am I driving at? Now let us solve and get the value of our R. Please click the subscription button and turn on your notification bell. If this is the first time you are seeing this amazing face, okay? Give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. Then tune in at your convenience. 
yes there must be something new for you to watch by god's grace thank you very much all right now let us draw triangle o b t so we have this we have o we have b we have t and b t is three o b is our radius right and we don't know this side o t we don't know it let's call it x and that is our hypotenuse for triangle o b t now using pythagorean theorem We can say that x squared is equal to r squared plus 3 squared. Okay? Then x squared is equal to r squared plus 9. Alright. Now let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Now let's talk about the other triangle. Triangle EOT. Okay? Okay? For triangle EOT, we have something like this. And this is our 90 degrees. Okay? So this is E. This is E. This is T. And this is O. Okay. Now we have, remember that OE is also the radius of this smaller circle. So this place is our R. We don't have the value of E, T. Oh, the value of E, T, E, T is also the radius of this circle. And the radius of the circle is 12. So E, T is 12. So we have 12. Okay? Here is 12. All right. Now, O, T, O, T is our X. Remember, right? OT is our X. All right. Now, we can solve. From this one, we can see that 12 squared, which happens to be our hypotenuse, is equal to X squared plus R squared. Okay? So we have, if we make R squared the subject of the formula, this will come here, right? So we have R squared is equal to... Let's make X squared the subject of the formula, okay? Because we need R squared to find R. So if we make X squared the subject of the formula, we have 12 squared minus R squared is equal to X squared. So if this is equation 1 and this is equation 2, we can see that if you come to this side, x squared is r squared plus 9. And if you come to this side, x squared is 12 squared minus r squared. So, that implies that we can say that r squared plus 9 is equal to 12 squared minus r squared. Right? Yeah. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? If not, please do that if you are actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. Now, from here, we can say R squared plus 9. Then this will come here to become minus 12 squared. And this will come to become plus R squared is equal to 0. Now, let us collect like terms. We have R squared plus 9. Minus 12 squared is 144 plus R squared is equal to 0. Now, R squared plus R squared will give us 2 R squared. And we have 9 minus 144. So let's do that first of all. 14 minus 9 will give us 5. Bring down 3, bring down 1. Okay, so we have minus 135 is equal to zero so if we cross this to the other side we have two arrow squared is equal to 135 
So R squared is 135 divided by 2. So we have our R squared to be equal to, let me just use this so that will be faster, please. Okay. So we have 135 divided by 2, which will give us 67.5. 67.5. That is our R squared. I don't want to get the value of R. Why? Remember that area is pi R squared. You can see that, right? So area is pi R squared, which is equal to 3.142, approximately, as the value of pi, times our R squared is 67.5. So, if we multiply that, we have 3.142 times 67.5. And that will give us 212.1, approximately, unit squared. And that is the area of the smaller circle. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.